What's going on, you guys? Andrew Ball here, and welcome to Five Back to Five Night Smudgers. Now, we have beaten nights on um, night one, now we are on night two, which I will enter the password for. Which I have my sheet off the side with my password written on it. So the password for this one is six. This this music is definitely from this music is definitely from the uh, TV series. So six four. Um. Six four four eight. Sorry, so, we're en so I'm entering the password right now, which I gotta click this slowly. All right, we are on night two. I just clicked it. All right, let's check the cameras. Uh, hello there again, mate. How was it for you last night? Pretty good. Much of a problem, I hope. Pretty good, big trouble. Anyway, I wanted to explain something that I didn't explain to you last night. If you haven't noticed by now, there are two green warning signs next to your doors. These can be used to your advantage. If someone appears at the door when you have it closed and you want to know if they're still there or not, mm -hmm. use your hall lights while the door is closed. If the signs are green, that means no one is behind the door. But if they are red, that means someone is behind it. Simple as that. This is basically used with the new laser alarm system we have built in. Oh, and also listen out for the mine. Like I said last night, you'll probably hear like rocks crumbling or Proteus just moved. If anyone is in there. Sorry to sound paranoid, but we don't want anything damaged. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for tonight. You stay safe and you'll be fine. Good night, mate. Oh my god, Bertram just moved. Alright, well Bertram is active this night, so is Scruffy. Scruffy just moved too. Let me see if he's in any of the mines. Alright, he's right over there. On the previous camera, it looked like it almost looked, it looked like a reenactment scene from um, the episode "Put Upon Percy," where um, the trucks go loose and they crash into the mine, which causes it to collapse. So now we need to check both doors since they're both active. All right, I also need to check on Scruffy too, because he he'll appear in the mine too. I'm surprised he's a coal truck that moves by himself in this game. I guess he doesn't need an engine to push or pull him or something. I mean, because in the TV series, he relies on engines to um push or pull him. Or a diesel or whatever. That's what he relies on. Well, every every troublesome truck relies on it. Alright, Scruffy just moved. So I need to check the mine, see if he's there. Alright, he's in the West Gold Gold Mine. Alright, so he is in the West Gold Mine right now. If he's in one of the mines, I have to close it and pump the piston. And there's Thumper over there, but he doesn't but he's not gonna move at all. He's probably won't move at all. All right, Scruffy's still there. He has moved. All right, now I have to close the mine because he's in there. All right, now we got to pump the piston. Because Scruffy's in the mine. No, they're not there yet, so that's good. Pump the piston. Because we got to keep the piston going. Alright, he's still in the mine. Alright, they're not there yet. Huh, Scruffy's still there. I mean, he doesn't move slow on the snipe. Huh, 
Nobody's there yet. I have my fingers over here just because I need to check the lights. Alright, he left. Alright, Scruffy just left so I can get the piston pumping again. Sorry if my camera's not showing this. It's 3 a.m. right now, so let me just push my camera back a little. It's 3 a.m. right now. Oh my god, Proteus! Oh, easy Proteus. Let me check if Scruffy's in the mines. Oh, he's still there. I'm sorry if my camera's not set up right. It's 3 a.m. I'm looking on my computer. I'm sorry that that's not showing it. My camera just isn't set up right. All right, Proteus is still there, but Bertram hasn't shown up yet. All right, he just left. Huh, Scruffy's there. Oh my god, Bertram! He definitely looks like Smudger. He easily gets mistaken by Smudger because him and Smudger actually both have the same base. I mean, Bertram has Duke's body and Smudger's face, so if you do the math, Duke plus Smudger equals Bertram. And that's true. Yep, Bertram's at the right door. Here's a fact. Bertram's actually nicknamed the old warrior. So we gotta close the mine. Alright, Bertram's still there. We just closed the mine. Now let's pump the piston. Wow, Bertram's still there. How long are you going to be there, Bertram? Alright, good. He left. Alright, Scruffy's still there. They're both not there. Alright, they're not there. It's 4 a.m. now. Alright, we can open the mine now, since he's left. I hate how, I hate how, like, whenever Proteus and Bertram show up the doors, it sounds like a door slamming. That's what it sounds like. Oh my god, Ghost Smudger! Oh, phew, I just put the camera. Ghost Smudger's only only active on the first two nights because Smudger hasn't been fully rebuilt yet. That's why. Oh, that scared me. Ghost Smudger just scared me. Uh-oh. Alright, Scruffy's in the mine, so we gotta close it. Alright, pump the piston, because he's... I gotta pump the piston now, because... Scruffy's in the mine. Alright, I'm keeping the piston going. He's still there. All right, we have beaten night two. <sighs> Excuse me. I like the tune whenever I beat night six, and plus it's flashing lights. All right, let me write this down real quick. Your password for night three is eight seven three six. What is this? Three two two eight. What? What is that? I never seen an extra one being written, so 
I think I need to go grab a pencil or a pen if I can find one around this my bedroom. Let me see if I can find one. Um, do I have a pencil or pen? Let's see. Hey, yeah. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Oh, here we are. I have a giant pen that I can use. I have a giant pen that I can write this on. Sorry, so your password is... Um, uh, 8736, sorry if my camera's not showing it, 8736, and then 3228 just in case if it's wrong, we'll put this as a backup password. All right, I've written it down and now I'm gonna see what's next. Another cutscene. Oh, I remember this reenactment, Duke tells story. He's still out there behind our sheds. He'll never move again. Poor Smudger, he got turned into a generator. Well, cause in the teaser, Duke explains that he was a reckless narrow gauge engine and he got turned into a gener and a generator. The manager took his wheels away and turned into a generator because um he was a reckless narrow gauge engine. He was also hazardous to the other engines. He was also hazardous to the other engines and he I'm coming for you. And he scoffed at Duke Jordan. Night three. Well I'm gonna end my video here. Thank you for watching. Wake up. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. So that helps me out through my series. And we will take on night three in the next video. See ya.